Hello everybody, welcome once again. Today we are meeting here for class 12 student for the chapter of valuation of goodwill. We are going to solve two questions of valuation of goodwill by super profit method. We have already discussed the conceptual part of it in the previous videos. Today we will see how to solve the questions of valuation of goodwill by this method. So without any further delay, let's dive into the topic. Here is this question in which we will find out the value of goodwill by applying super profit method as per our last classes discussion we will follow the steps to find out value of goodwill by super profit method and the step number one is finding out what is the value of capital employed as you know there are two approaches to find out what is the value of capital employed first approach is called liability side approach and second approach is called asset side approach it's not necessary that in all the questions you will find that information related to both the approaches but luckily in this question you have the information related to both the approaches asset side approach and liability side approach both ideally you can follow any one of this but to make our concepts more clear and stronger in this practice session we will follow both the approaches and find out the capital employed so step number one we are going to follow here is finding out the capital employed let's start it so for finding out capital employed if i follow liability side approach i have capital of both the partners varun and karuna and reserves and surpluses we take the capital invested by the partners and if there is any non-trade investment that is to be deducted and any fictitious asset and goodwill if existing goodwill is there it should be deducted over here we do not have any non-trade investment because here it is written clearly this is trade investment if this thing was not written here student always remember we always consider it to be a non-trade investment but your question says clearly that it's a trade investment so we will simply ignore it no goodwill exi is existing over here but yes there is a definite Deferred revenue expenditure means fictitious asset, so this has to be deducted. Let's find out capital by liability side approach. Here we are going to add the capital of partners, which is 5 lakh plus 5 lakh, and their reserves and surplus, which is 5 lakh 50 thousand, and we are going to deduct fictitious asset of 50 thousand rupees. So these are capital plus reserves and surplus minus advertisement suspense account. Okay, now our final answer is 10 lakh plus 5 lakh 15 lakh 50 thousand and minus 50 thousand 15 lakh is our final answer this is our liability side approach of finding out capital employed but see through the asset side approach uh, by asset side approach the formula is your fixed capital plus working capital means not will follow a separate formula over here uh, we have to actually cal deduct the outside liability so outside liabilities are what outside liability in this questions we will see the sundry creditors the outside outstanding expenses and advances from customer is outside liability which will be deducted from the total assets also from the total assets we are going to deduct the fictitious asset which is advertisement expenditure working capital capital can also be done for working capital we take fixed assets plus current assets minus current liability so instead of writing working capital separately i am just from total capital asset i am deducting the outside liability which is over here the current liability itself so let's write down what are we do going over here we are going to do total assets minus fictitious asset and minus outside liabilities my total assets are 19 lakh 50 thousand students and fictitious asset is 50 thousand which is your advertisement suspense account and here are my outside liabilities which are 2 lakh rupees I'll write all of these in bracket plus 50 thousand rupees outstanding expenses plus 
वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज एडवांसेस फ्रॉम कस्टमर्स सो दिस इज ऑल टूगेदर फोर लैख रुपीज सो ह्योर नाइन लैख फिफ्टी माइनस फिफ्टी इज नाइनटीन लैख रुपीज एंड नाइनटीन माइनस फोर इज अगेन फिफ्टीन लैख रुपीज सो सी फ्रॉम बोथ दी अप्रोचेज वी फाउंड कैपिटल एम्प्लॉयड एज फिफ्टीन लैख रुपीज सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड विच एवर अप्रोच यू फॉलो योर आंसर इज गोइंग टू कम से now let us follow the step number 2 under step number 2 we are going to find out normal profit what is normal profit normal profit is average capital employed into normal rate of return and i had told you in the previous class also if average capital employed is not given to you then to capital employed only this formula will be applicable okay so we have found out capital employed which is 15 lakh rupees now let's see in the question what is normal rate of return so over here it is written varun and karuna are partners with equal share they admit one more partner lata into the uh, partnership for one four share it was agreed to value the goodwill at four years purchase of the profit and normal rate of return is 15% so 15% we are going to apply which is 15% over here and here is 15% of rupees 15 lakh as 2 lakh 25000 Two lakh twenty five thousand is your normal profit. Now our next step is going to be finding of super profit. What is super profit, students? Super profit is excess of your average profit over normal profit. So average profit, which is given in the question, I'll go back and make you check minus normal profit is your super profit. So here is our normal profit which we have just taken out two lakh twenty five thousand, and we will find out what is average profit. Average profit is given over here as four lakh rupees. So let's write four lakh rupees as our average profit. So four lakh rupees is average profit, and it is in excess with the total profit. Ah, uh, sorry, ah, uh, normal profit in. One lakh seventy five thousand. This excess of average profit over normal profit is only your super profit. Now the last step is finding out the goodwill. How do we find out goodwill? We multiply super profit by number of years of purchase. Multiply it by number of years of purchase. Number of years of purchase are given in the question. Number of years of purchase. Let me correct it. Number of years of purchase. so number of years of purchase i think there are four let me go back and check this is 175000 our super profit and number of years of purchase yes i was right it is four years question is asking us four years okay so multiply it by four so 175000 multiplied by four is 7 lakh rupees the value of goodwill is 7 lakh rupees i hope students you understood let's go back and check it once again this is the question if you want you can just take a screenshot of this question and see what the question is asking question is asking you the calculation of goodwill by super profit method question has given us the information basic information is a normal rate of return is 15% and they asking us to find out capital employed first they are asking us to find out the super profit method value of goodwill by super profit method for which we need capital employed and they have already given average profit to us so first step which we followed is we found out capital employed by following both the approaches capital side approach and liability side uh, liability side approach and asset side approach these are the formulas we applied so from both the side our answer came as 15 lakh rupees and in this question important thing they had highlighted that this investment is a trade investment if it was not highlighted we would have taken it as non trade investment as the book says or it is being uh, you know um, being considered always as the non trade investment then we will have the next step following over here which is uh, our capital is to finding out normal profit then normal profit is capital employed into normal rate of return normal rate of return was given to us in the question as 15% 
after this what do we do we find out super profit what is super profit nothing but the excess of average profit over normal profit we did that and then at last we multiplied the number of years of purchase with super profit and this is how we find out the value of goodwill i hope students you understood this now let us do a very simple question where we have been given little bit of adjustment of abnormalities also let's see one more question this question is also very important because here is one adjustment about the abnormality is given along with the calculation of super profit method let's see what the question says we'll read the question the average profit earned by firm is 7 lakh 50 thousand rupees which includes over valuation of 30 thousand on average basis just underline this line because this line is a very important line here we have seen undervaluation and overvaluation in the previous videos and we know that we overvaluation of stock we always deduct in the current year and in the next year it is being added but it is done when the year wise profit is given here we have been given average profit and this overvaluation is also average average means it is being already taken care of the current year and the next year then what do we do in this case we are just going to simply do the treatment what we do in the current year in the current year overvaluation of stock is deducted so here we are going to deduct this 30,000 rupees to find out what is our average profit after this abnormality first thing now let us read again the capital invested in the business is 42 lakh in this question we don't have to find out the capital employed they have already given that capital invested is 42 lakh rupees normal rate of return is given to us 15 percent and they are asking us to find out the value of goodwill so let's do again step number one step number one is finding out normal profit here step number one is finding out the normal profit because we don't have to find out capital employed here it is being given to us otherwise we would have done that so normal profit is going to be capital employed multiplied by nrr nrr stands for normal rate of return so we have 42 lakh rupees as our capital employed and normal rate of return is 15 percent so here we are 42 lakh into 15 percent is 6 lakh 30 thousand rupees so our normal profit is 6 lakh 30 thousand rupees and we have to find out average profit now because there is some abnormality so we have to take care of that abnormality this is our step number two average profit so average profit though it was given in the question as 7 lakh 50 thousand rupees but because of the overvaluation this has to be deducted 30 thousand rupees is to be deducted now our average profit has become 7 lakh 20 thousand now step number three step number three is finding out super profit super profit is average profit minus normal profit where average profit we just figured out is 7 lakh 20 thousand and our normal profit was 6 lakh 30 thousand so this way we will find out super profit students so super profit is 90,000 rupees now the final step which you have to follow is finding out goodwill step number four is valuation of goodwill and goodwill is to be found out on the basis of average uh, uh, the number of years of purchase which is three years so here i am going to do super profit always do write the formula do not write the figures directly into number of years of purchase number of years of purchase which is 90,000 multiplied by 3. So here is our answer 2,70,000 is the value of goodwill. I hope students you understood this super profit method, application of super profit method, concepts we had already done in the previous class. Today we have done two questions and both the questions were good. Where we have seen how to take care of closing stock and overvaluation of closing stock on the average basis. We have also seen how to find out capital employed by asset side and liability side approach with a practical example. Students we will meet in the next class now with the 
another method of valuation of goodwill till then practice all of this and yes if you have not yet subscribed the channel do not forget to subscribe the channel and like and share the video bye have a great day